In this video, I'll show you how to use TrackX from Cormelt to add text to a real estate walkthrough video. Any clip with smooth movement should work well, and here I've got a selection of simple panning shots. Here in the Generators tab, I'll look for a C2 TrackX, and then drag Track Text to above a clip in the timeline. Then I'll trim it to fit the area where I want the text to appear. In this shot, I want to highlight the high ceilings. In the middle of this time region, I'll press M to create a marker. Now I'll use the Rectangular Shape tool to create a box over the feature I want to attach the text to. Track backwards by pressing this button here. If the object is about to move out of frame, you can press here to stop tracking, or just approve the alert that appears if the area you're tracking does leave the shot. Then trim the track text clip so that the tracked area is visible throughout the shot. Return to the marker by pressing Ctrl apostrophe. Track forwards with this button. When tracking is complete, option click on the clip with the marker to select the clip and move the playhead to that point. Press the Open Text Editor button to edit the text, then type in the text you want to use, and use the built-in text controls to set a style. You can press Font if you want to choose a font and size manually, and if you need a drop shadow, you can add it with this control here. For consistency, it's a good idea to save a style so that you can easily apply the same style to other titles using Favorites. Back in the Styles area, press Add to Favorites to do this. Give the style a name, press Add, and then close the text editor window. With the text looking good, flick to the Surface tab and then adjust the size and perspective using the yellow and the green handles. You can use the outer handles to make more room for the text, and to set the text at a perspective angle, if you wish. Because track text has to be connected directly to the target clip and not in a storyline, you can't use transitions to fade the clip in and out. Instead, use the built-in fade handles. Select the track text clip, and then press Ctrl V to show the video animation controls. Press the small icon at the top right of the Compositing Opacity section to show the Opacity graph. Then drag on each of the two teardrop controls to move them in from the left and the right edges. The clip will now fade in and out without transitions. You can now repeat these steps with other clips, adding new track text instances, trimming to fit, setting a marker, tracking backwards, then forwards, changing the text, and then applying the favourite style to keep a consistent look. You can add more than one title to the same clip if you wish. When you're done, you'll have drawn your viewer's attention to specific features far more effectively than standard titling does. TrackX is available now from Cormelt.com, and there's a free trial too. Thanks for watching.